Thursday we had gone somewhere for a burial, we came back, we got him in the office and he told us he was feeling some dizziness. Eh? But he was seated in the office and told us that uh, but I'll be okay. We asked him whether he would be able to preach. He said, yeah, I'll preach. Uh, and he went and preached very well, but he left. After preaching, he left. We left actually and yeah, I went with him. Uh, we reached somewhere and told him to drive him. I drove up to Arkwright, eh, where he sleeps. Left him there. He was supposed to shoot a video on Friday, but he told me, if I get up when I'm feeling well, I'll go and shoot. So in the morning, yesterday, Friday, I talked to him. How are you feeling? He said, Batu, I'm fine. I'm fine, but I'll not be able to go and shoot the video with the Congolese. So in the evening, Actually, we were trying to, to talk to him. Like, I talked to him at midnight, 14 minutes past midnight. That's the time I reached home. I talked to him. How are you feeling today? He told me, you know, I'm very fine. Tomorrow we are supposed to go to the office and do our work. I was like, are you not sick? What, what? I said, but for me, I'm very fine. Tomorrow we shall go to the office. I'll call you in the morning, then we go. So I slept. Around five, I got up. I phoned two missed calls, one for Mr. Okulutu and one for Mushara Wembo. It was like uh, after two minutes. Eh? Then I called back. I called Mr. Okulutu and was like, Papa is dead. He said, what? What happened? He said, you ran. So I rushed, went to Akurait. Got him actually when he's dead. I was trying to, to get information from Mr. Okulutu and was like, at five, we got him like was shouting when he shouted they went to his room immediately they got him when he was struggling like two minutes he passed out four six sometime back like three months back uh he was a bit sick like fatigue and what and was like uh, i'll be fine and actually was fine so he had resumed work he has been working very well he had no problem him yesterday evening and he was okay he didn't tell me he had any problem so until today when I've, I was, I've been called in the morning that he's dead and we had a program to do today because for me I deal, I've been dealing with him for almost uh, 15 years may he so rest in peace we are going to really miss him so much Jabi we love you too much <laughs>